Awesome, so there are tens of thousands of niches and products that you could start selling right now, today. You could go order it today and get it in stock on Amazon and start making tens of thousands of dollars every single month for the next few years. But the tricky part of this whole process, of course, is finding which product you should be selling. And not only finding it, but being able to validate it yourself. So finding the niche, finding the product, and then you knowing and having that confidence in yourself that this product is going to work. So in this video, that's what exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna use a tool called AMZ Scout. I'm gonna show you exactly how to first find a niche and then separate yourself by finding a sub niche of that niche so you can be sure that you don't have too much competition competing for your product. I'm also gonna do an accuracy test on AMZ Scout to make sure that all these numbers that are coming up are accurate and you can trust and rely on them. Awesome, so really quick, before we do go on this journey together, could you please push that like button below this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have some amazing Amazon FBA content coming your way, so you don't wanna miss that. Now, let's jump over to amazon.com. You can see I've got it pulled up on my screen here, so you can pull it up on your own screen uh, as you follow along. And I've got AMZ Scout uh, installed. Now I call it AMZ Scout, you may call it AMZ Scout if you are American. Um, but what this is gonna be able to do is it's gonna be able to let us basically x-ray the Amazon website. So it's gonna be able to pull data that we don't normally have access to that is normally behind the scenes in Amazon, such as how much revenue each product is making, their best their bestseller rank trend over time, uh, how long they've been selling for. All this information that we're gonna to use to find and validate niches you can get with AMZ Scout. And the link, of course, is in the description. It is an affiliate link, but you will get a discount if you use it. And there's also a free trial. They let you have a free trial. So if you can find your product in the free trial, good stuff. Now, one of the best ways to start finding product ideas, and this is why I do like AMZ Scout, is they literally have a niche idea button down here. And all you have to do is click that niche idea button and they literally take you to a niche that they believe would be a good thing to sell in. Now, I would be very cautious if you were ever to go into one of these niches directly because they're going to have quite a few people who use AMZ Scout discovering these niches, but it's really, really good idea to start hitting that button and start generating these niches just to get the ideas flowing, just to be able to because otherwise you're stuck on the Amazon homepage and you're like, oh, I don't know what to type or type a few letters. This one really is just a random uh, product generator that is gonna suggest good FBA items. So it's a really cool place to start. And again, I'd be wary of actually selling one of these products unless you can validate in the way that we're gonna validate it. Um, but you can start branching off once you get onto these products. It's just a good inroad. Now, this is a no anti-snoring chin strap. You can see they've actually rated a one out of 10. So the niche score is basically out of 10, how good it is to sell in it. Um, and you can see it's just, a, we just gotta get out of that one. That's not a good niche at all. Cigarette, Carl, I don't, I don't like electronics. So I'm just searching here for new niches, just hitting that niche idea button over and over again. And then once we find one that's gonna be good, uh, which could be this one, we're going to actually break it down. And I'm really excited today because I wanna talk to you about how I first find a niche and how it's important for you to first find a niche and then get a sub niche and try and corner the sub niche of that niche um, because then you don't have to really contend with competition. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So you can see as AMZ Scout pull in this data, the first thing I like to do is sort by revenue because we're looking for demand. Estimated revenue, oh, you can see there's a couple here that are unavailable, so I'm just gonna X those out with the X on the side here. And you can see there's a lot of products in here doing over $20,000 a month, up to $300,000 a month for a posture corrector. That's actually pretty crazy, it's a lot of demand. If you keep scrolling down, there's a lot of market depth here. So for the first thing we look for, high demand, high market depth. And what I wanna show you and that I use AMZ Scout for to do this is I actually look at the whole value of a niche now. So you can see there's 58 results, average price of $26, and average sales of 1,012. So what I wanna do is I wanna do 58 results times 1,012 products times the average price of 26. You can see it's 
million dollars. One million five hundred twenty-six thousand and ninety-six dollars every single month is being spent on Amazon on posture belts. It's mind blowing to me. And this is the way I like to look at things now because what I want to do, if I bring up a very primitive drawing app so I can show you this um, <laughs> symbolically, this right here is any market or any niche on Amazon. So at the moment, it's posture correctors. So I'm just gonna put PC in here for posture correctors. Now, this is the demand of the market. And you can tell that the demand of the market is $1.5 million per month. So $1.5 million per month. And this is zero over here. So $1.5 million a month is being spent on Amazon on these posture correctors. Now, that's being spent over lots of different products. So the top product, you remember, did $300,000. Uh, over here, $300,000. So that's about one-fifth of this. So you can see that's the top product. They own, it's a little bit more than one-fifth, but you can see you get the idea. That's how much they own in this. And then what you'll notice, and this doesn't have to be accurate, is the next products will own less and less and less until they start dividing it up pretty evenly of this niche. And what you have to realize is that we don't actually want to be, especially if you're looking for your beginner product, the biggest product out here on the market. We don't want to be selling $300,000 a month because that's a lot of investment that we're going to have to make to just stay in stock. What we actually want to be doing is we want to be sub-niching and we want to be finding what I call the slowest gazelle, meaning, and I explain this a lot on this channel, if you're a lion and you're hunting in the wild, you don't want to go after the fastest, most fittest gazelle because it's going to take more energy to catch it. And then not all, you might not catch it. You have a less chance of catching it. You want to find the slowest, weakest, injured gazelle in that pack and go after him because you know it's a sure shot that you're actually going to catch him. And these are our gazelles here. If we were to enter this niche, we don't want to go after the big dogs, the fastest gazelles. What I like to do is I actually like to sort uh, with AMZ Scout by um, when they've been available from. So when have they started selling? Now you can see the earliest ones started way back in 2011, which is pretty incredible. But uh, the ones that started this year in 2019, there's a lot of them. Look at all those. And this one here started on the 20th of June. And what I want to see over here is they have 50 reviews and they have $41,000 a month of revenue, meaning uh, they own a very, very, very small segment of this market over here. This is them. But what they have done really well is they've made $40,000 a month. They don't need to be the best selling product in this to make $40,000 a month, which is probably about fifteen dollars to $20,000, maybe a little bit less in this market, maybe about $15,000 of profit every single month. They've only got 50 reviews. And this is a really cool way to come and find a product like this. So what we want to do is we want to now click on this product and see that if we sold a similar product to this, they got the number one new release tag, they got cool photos, uh, they got good dot points. You can see they've launched well, launched steady. This app here is called Keeper, uh, but AMZ uh, Scout actually have a similar looking thing right here. We can actually see the graph and how they're launching and you don't want to see something like this. This is a very sharp um, increase in <laughs> bestseller rank. You don't want to look at that. You want to look at something that's slow and steady and consistent like these ones. And you can see this could, a lot of people are going to write this niche off because there's hundreds and thousands of reviews in here. But what you have to do is you have to see that this launched in June, uh, this launched in May, this launched in May, this launched in May, this launched in May. And you can see they're all doing $26,000, $36,000, $41,000 a month. And what I really want to do um, to show you how to do this yourself but not get swamped by competition is you want to make sure that you are isolating yourself in the market. You're protecting yourself from competition by finding an area of the market that is sort of untapped. Because there's a reason. You can see that there is $1.5 million of sales for this entire niche every single month. But there's a reason why they don't all just buy the first product. It's because each product has its own unique selling proposition. So what you need to do is you need to find what your unique selling proposition is for any of these products in the market and then go with that. Go heavy on that and become the best, um, what is it, posture belt for whatever that is. And the best way to do it is obviously to come and look at the reviews 
And when you look at the reviews, they tell you what the market's missing or what they thought could have been better with the posture thing. You make that better into your product and then you're gonna own that small segment of the market. Remember, you don't have to be the fastest gazelle. You don't have to go over here. You want to corner this edge of the market over here and then just protect it. And then as this whole market grows, so in a year's time, this whole market may be worth $2.5 billion, your piece of the pie is going to grow with it. And that's why I do love AMZ Scout because they show you what the market value is and the niche value is. So if we come back and I wanna show you a little bit more of this tool, um, we can start generating some new niche ideas and basically see where you can fit in on these niches. Uh, Marble Run, that's an interesting one. Higher price point is good. So if you're looking for some uh, criteria here, we want a higher price point between $15 and $45. Um, the cool thing about AMZ Scout 2 is they give you a net profit margin. Um, is that negative 82? That's weird. Something's going on there. Um, uh, remember, sort by revenue, you want a lot of market depth in the niche. If you don't have market depth, and this is why market depth is so important, is because you need to, and I've zoomed in there, uh, you need to actually have something you can actually own. If there's no market depth and that's only $100 for the whole niche, the most you're going to earn is $100. So you want to make sure there's market depth and you want to make sure it's shared through a lot of sellers so you can come in and corner some of the market. Um, so this is a cool idea and I want to show you, because I warned you to not go straight for those products, I want to show you how you can use these niche ideas to generate more ideas and go down different rabbit holes and find new products. So I clicked on this item and what I'm doing is I'm coming down to, this is sponsored products, so this won't be bad. You can see different products that are related to this uh, niche. So this one looks a little bit different, $7.99. It's not quite the marble run thing, but you can scroll through here and start to find different ideas. Let's see if we can find one together. Here we go, here's a Hand, uh, handcraft is probably not a great private label product. Hard storage case, gravity maze. So it's a storage case for the mazes. And then you can start getting into, what is it? Gravity maze, marble storage case. You'll be able to come down and there'll be storage cases for other things. And I wanna start looking, these are all sponsored products, sponsored products. Uh, products with higher reviews because some of these smaller niches are not gonna have as high reviews because there's less demand in there. So when I'm in something really small like a hard case for a gravity maze, I'm, I'm sort of wanting to get back into something with higher demand or otherwise you're gonna see something like this that just really doesn't sell. So this could spur the, the inspiration for hard case um, and you push space and this is gonna show you the most in-demand items for hard case, for glasses, hard case with foam. Hard case wallet, hard case wallet for men, hard case golf travel bag. Let's have a look at this one. Ah, so it might be a little bit big for a beginner item. So we can go back. Hard case. Hard case with firm. What is that? That's one of these ones. I'm going to aim Z scout this. And you can see up here the niche score. So if we click on the niche score, it's gonna break down exactly the three things that we want. We want low competition, we want high demand, and we want high profit. And AMZ Scout is gonna help break those down step by step for you and help you decide on what product you want. And the cool thing too is they have this little button here that takes you straight to Alibaba and you can start, it actually searches the photo. It doesn't search the keyword, it searches the photo, which is kind of cool. And you can see almost the exact same cases um, and start seeing how much they cost and comparing it, obviously, to Amazon. So this is $6 a case here. Come back to Amazon and you can see they're selling for $32 um, a case. And you can see the price history here in this one. So you can see if they've lowered the price at all. And the other one I like to uh, do is you can actually calculate here. So you know if you can get it for $6, and then you know shipping is going to be $3 because they're pretty heavy. You can start to work out the exact profitability of these products. So that's how we can find these product ideas. We can go down these rabbit holes and find things with really big market depth. But I want to test because a lot of people say that AMZ Scout's accuracy is way off. These numbers are not accurate. So I've actually run a test with some of my products. And I've tested it against two of my products and... 
Uh, I've also tested against Jungle Scout, which is another uh, software like this that has um, predictions of revenue and predictions of um, daily sales. What we found was AMZ Scout actually underestimated the sales. So for our sales, say we had 100 sales that month. AMZ Scout, when we average out their score, had 94 sales predicted when the reality was 100 sales that month. Where Jungle Scout was more accurate, it predicted 101 sales. Um, but it did overpredict, which is a little bit more scary. So both of them were rather accurate. Jungle Scout was slightly more accurate than AMZ Scout, but AMZ Scout never overpredicted. So uh, these numbers, a lot of people don't trust these numbers. When you're going through and you're finding products, these numbers are very, very close. Sometimes it's scary when I go and I refresh my sales and then I refresh AMZ Scout or Jungle Scout, and they've almost got it down to like the $10 mark of exactly... <laughs> Of exactly like the amount of money I'm selling, and so I'm like, wow, that's that's impressive. So, uh, MZ Scout was at 94% accuracy, and it's really good for you know finding niche ideas, finding how big these niches are, and then being able to build down into subsets. So, if you want to see more of this strategy, because I'm actually working with a few people now to get them um, some products, and I'm working with um, myself to build a new brand based on these strategies make sure you do subscribe because I'm going to be very transparent with a lot of this stuff and you're going to learn a lot of stuff if you follow along. Um, and I want you to be able to find your own product. I want you to be able to be our next success story and launch that profit product profitably on Amazon with us. So make sure you do subscribe and let us know how your journey is going.